It's just like my uh, right over my there. Yeah, it's a video. Oh, so it's a video. Oh, 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 we can move. Just gonna see what we look so like in life. We gonna all survive, or we're yeah. gonna make it yeah. now. Okay. All of us who don't have to carry a camera. Alright, we are getting ready to go on a hike. We are sunscreened, body glided, Vaseline to just have to put on the packs and put in the waters and then go hit the trail. We're doing, doing this all day. It's it's about uh, 25 to 30 degrees out there and uh, I think we're ready. It's, it's pitch dark. And we're wearing shorts. Yes. <laughs> Future updates we will not be so happy I'm sure but we'll see. Probably cold at the start and then uh, so it's down and then across the middle of the canyon and then up. So I think the first two legs of that will be alright, and then the last one's going to be where the video might get a little bit shaky. Shaky cam. It's already shaking a little bit, my hand's getting tired already, but we'll see. Alright. Yeah, we love you. This is going to look probably pretty crappy, um, but there's, it's pretty dark out here. And uh, we're probably about a mile into it, 20 minutes, and here's what we can see. Sun's starting to come up. It's beautiful. You can finally start to see the trail. Our lights failed except for that one. So, well, that's pretty amazing. Saturday night, February, like seven. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. I think it really looks nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. What, what have you? I didn't end up getting much more footage of the hike. We had to move fast to accomplish our goal of getting out before sunset. The camera went into the backpack. Still going, we haven't given up. The first stretch is four miles down, almost straight down. Then 14, relatively flat but some hills. And then six miles straight up. My quad started cramping pretty severely just before we got to the hard part. That made the hard part even harder. We made it, and it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Eleven and a half hours of walking. In the end, I said, never again. I'm not doing this. After I ate and I had time to reflect, I signed up for the trip again next year. Doing the hike makes me feel like I can do anything. It was a real revelation for me. And I want to experience that powerful feeling again. Alright, well it's the morning after the hike and there's a few of us up early. We have a little fire going and a little coffee. And we all made it out. Some of us did better than others. I think Mike and I ended up middle of the pack even though I thought for sure we'd be at the end because of uh, some serious cramping. I had to put the camera away about midway through the, the trip because um, it was just a lot of the same scenery and no one's going to want to see us walking for miles and miles. And then also it got really hard, but we did it. We're here. Good morning. What do you think? Well, how was yesterday? Yesterday was awesome. I can't wait to do it again. Canyon's a miracle place. I'm not even that sore. If you're thinking about doing this, do it. Yeah? What yeah. did you take away yesterday? What was the main thing? It was the easiest time I've ever done it, and I didn't train. So don't train either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you flew in. Yeah, I flew to drive, in to drive us, and then uh, hiked as well. I hiked about uh, 12 miles down to Plateau Point, which is quite inspirational. Uh, 1,500 feet above the, the river, straight down. Looks looks beautiful. Yeah, you did the time. hardest parts of the hike, right? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about the four and a half miles down to Indian Gardens is not fun. And you hear four and a half miles and you think, well, that's not that far. I could probably do that, but it's almost literally straight up. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, about, what, 3,000 foot elevation change? Yeah. Yeah, pretty pretty wonderful. It's substantial, for sure. And I like it so much that I, I will be buried at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, tomorrow. hopefully not soon. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. That's right. So, so then you brought your daughter. 
Yeah, yeah. Emma really. Emma, Emma got out before I did, so she's she's okay. But youth uh, has the way of doing that. Yeah, for sure. It's wonderful. Cool. And we're watching a fire. That's why I'm over. Yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty nice. This it's chilly up here, so pretty nice early this morning. We've got a lot of triangles to burn. Yes. Um, sacred triangles. <laughs> sacred triangles. <laughs> From the Grand Canyon. All right. And it is, so Frank. It is the set. triangle tree. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I feel great. Yeah? We had our, probably our best trip ever. You think so? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. What made it the sure. best? I'd say the people. Yeah? The canyon's nice, but the people make it. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. No, it's just a great experience. Oh, is it? Humbling. Very humbling. Yeah. It sure is, isn't it? Yes. And did any of you guys um, have anything that slowed you down like me on the way up? No, well, just did you four and a half along? miles of that. <laughs> just that. I slowed down with some cramps uh, about six miles away from the top. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Good experience Mine yesterday. Was about, no, it was about two miles. No I obstructions. Cramps. cramps. Two miles of cramps, but they, they worked themselves out. That's awesome. But the last half a mile was easiest by. It was there. Once you see that house. I don't understand that. I don't get that either. Once you see that house, you're just going. I. So I. The last point nine miles for me was like uh, murder. It was. It is murder. It was murder. It gets steeper. It gets nastier. Mm. But you're almost there. Yeah. You're almost there. It doesn't matter. What do you think about the trip yesterday? I, I loved it. Uh, it was beautiful. Uh, things that I, I didn't think I'd ever see. First time uh, I've been down. I've always seen everything from, from the top, and it was pretty. But uh, didn't think much about it other than than pretty. Yeah. And walking down, you see stuff that uh, you you wouldn't think you would ever see. So I, I would recommend it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty I, hard to capture that on film. And but, but try 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 to get in shape before you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be cramping, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think about the whole thing? You're the organizer, and you did a great job. What's uh... well? I hope I like it because I've done it year after year. So it gets very addicting. Yeah. A lot of people are really nervous their first time, and then they get in and they're like, "How can I do it next time?" Or in that last mile and a half to two miles, you're thinking. This was such a bad idea. Yeah. I'm going to kill Clay for asking me to come on this. And it's almost the first step out of the canyon. That it's endorphins or something kicks in, and there's a smile on your face, and you're thinking, hey, that was fun. I'm going to yeah. do this again. Yeah, you look so, over the edge, right? Did it you is. take anything different this time out of the trip than you did any other time, or is it kind of the same? No, kind of the same, but it's just remembering to stop and slow down a little bit. And it's okay to sit down and just look at the scenery and look at the different things. Even when you're starting and there's the urge to go real fast, as soon as the sun comes up, just to look at the, the beautiful scenery and the, just the different changes, all the different, I don't know what you call them, biomes or yeah. different areas of desert and aspen trees and pine trees that you get to see through the whole thing yeah that was cool and the wildlife down there and and just a great camaraderie of people even not not just our group but the other hikers and sharing the experience with people yeah do you have a favorite part my favorite is probably coming down the north rim on north kaibab about halfway down where the the trail is cut on a rock shelf out of the side of the cliff. Mm -hmm. and, oh, that's and fun. you're just kind of, it's wide, and there's the waterfalls on the other side, and it's just a, a serene and very beautiful Yeah, that's spot. awesome. Yeah. We've been in uh, the, the walk for about an hour and a half, and so far everything is easy. No, no problems at all with us. We're arriving at a nice little waterfall. Waterfall it sound, it sounds uh, like a running river. It sounds really nice. Well, I started out really nervous. Like the week before, I was like I was increasingly nervous, and then the night before, I got terrified. Um, I was like, I hadn't trained much. I mean, I always hike, but I don't. I hadn't done this distance. Yeah. So I was pretty terrified. And we did really well, right? You got out before a lot of people. Ten and a half hours. And did you sleep sleep well last night, or did you? How'd I slept you do? great last night. Are you hurting today? <laughs> Um, upper thighs. Hurt. Upper thighs. Did, have you done this before? Uh, this was my um, third time doing a rim to rim. Okay. I've never done it north to south. But okay. I did do a rim cube once where we went south to north to south. So. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that must have been brutal. I never hiked the same after that. Oh my god. <laughs> I lost four toenails. Oh. And I just uh, pretty much felt like I was going to die. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to do it again. Are you going to do it again? Um. 
has a lot. I will done? never say never. All right. Because <laughs> I said no quite a few times and really? I keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard right afterwards. Maybe once you forget a little bit. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you cut that? Yeah, I'll cut that. <laughs> no, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's terrible. Do you guys need some sunglasses?